Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. You're all you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me Alana. For this video, I am actually going to tell you about my winter TBR. If you don't know, if you're new, I do seasonal TBRs as well as monthly TBRs. So every season I usually pick a stack of books to read and then my monthly TBRs will be like consistent of some of those books plus others that I choose to read that month as well. So uh, I've really liked doing them and it helps me kind of try and narrow down my physical TBR and keep with a mood reader vibe but also still have some structure of like a planned reader at the same time. So I just really love doing it. And this time I actually switched it up for my winter TBR. Normally I pull for my TBR jar which is basically a bunch of popsicle sticks in a cup like this and they're all color coded and each book each stick represents a book on my shelf that I haven't read yet and then once I'm done I take them out and I put them in another cup to kind of signify oh these are all the books I've read that I owned and then I'm slowly working towards narrowing down my physical TBR. Granted the end of this year I've done really bad about not spending so I feel like that was counteractive to all the progress I made but that's okay we're working on it. So for this winter TBR, I actually went ahead and just chose some books that I had been feeling like reading myself because uh, I just really wanted to pick some things that I was actually looking forward to reading. And then I left two uh, that I'm going to pick for my TBR. That way I can still use it because I haven't been really doing well the past two seasonal TBRs I've done. And I think that's mostly because I was just in a slump um, just because of this year <laughs> for both of those so I'm hoping by choosing some stuff that I'm actually looking forward to reading like really looking forward to reading that will spur me on to actually work on this TBR so let me go ahead and tell you the books that I picked and then we'll go ahead and pick some more from my TBR and then we're good to go so the first book I have on my list is When Bitten Dimple Mint Rishi by Sonia Manon I've heard so many good things about Sunny Manon's books. So the fact that I've heard how cute it was made me really want to check this book out and see if I would like it. So I figured a feel good contemporary would be a good thing to add this season just because winter, Christmas, you want feel good reads. So yeah. Next I have The Storm Crow by Kaylin Josephson. Uh, this is on my December TBR as well as my winter TBR. I picked this up and I was enamored by the synopsis so I figured it would be a good fun fantasy to pick up. So I am excited to get to this this month. Next I have a Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dad. This was recommended to me by Erin from Booked and Busy so I figured again a feel-good contemporary romance would be something fun to throw into this uh, TBR. Next I have Scars Like Wings by Erin Stewart. This is a little bit more of a heavier contemporary read but I really love books where characters are really working through mental things and emotional things and so this seemed like a really interesting book to try. Next I have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I love a good thriller so I figured this would be fun to throw into my list. Plus I've heard such good things about this. I don't really know much about it but with YA thrillers, especially thrillers in general, I just kind of like to go in without knowing much because sometimes the like synopsis can give away things that could have been a good like plot point overall in the book so we're just gonna do that but again I've heard good things I think the second book comes out next year to this so that should be interesting next book I have is Ray Bear by Jordan Ifioko I've heard such good things about this from my friends Kate 
who has the channel I Love Books OK, and then Monet from Life with the Monet. They both read this around the same time and both loved it. So I'm really looking forward to checking this out and seeing if it's one that I can love too. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people don't like this cover, but I think this cover is gorgeous, personally speaking, but I'm weird, so yeah. And then the last one is one that I got early that doesn't even come out till next year. This was part of a fair loot box where they gave us two books in one box. And that one is The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. This sounds so interesting and so cool and I'm really looking forward to reading it. I am hoping to read it closer to the release date so that way I can like have fresh mind when I review it. But this cover is still just so gorgeous with the foiled like cover and the color and the teal like sprayed edges it's just gorgeous so i'm definitely excited to check this out so those are the ones that i picked and now i'm gonna let fate decide the last two books that will be on my tbr so let's go ahead and mix these up so let's move from center yeah so it's a contemporary and it is When the Stars Lead to You by Ronnie Davis. I believe this is like a second chance romance contemporary. So I'm definitely intrigued to see how it goes. Plastic. Outside. Let's see, it's a fantasy and it is, ooh, I'm excited for this one. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Okay, I'm really excited for this because I've been wanting to get to this for a minute and this cover is super hot and gorgeous. So yeah, that is my winter TBR for this season. It's kind of shorter than my past TBRs, but I figured since I haven't been doing as well as I wanted with the past two that I've done this year, then uh, let me just shorten the list and hopefully make it a little easier for myself because I want to be kind to myself this season. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me choose these books. If you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave all of that in the comment section down below. Let me know if you've read any of these and you really like them. And if you're not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You're all flowers in a world full of weeds.